The driver, which I think is most important club in the bag. So welcome to Mark Amy Golf. This is our new series of how to improve the driver on distance and accuracy. Right then, let's get stuck into episode one, shall we? So there's such a fine margin between missing a fairway while trying to produce more power. So in this series, we're going to go through how to try and hit the fairway more consistently and produce more power. Now the main thing that you have to tick off first in this episode, as you can see behind me, is the strike, is getting that center strike. So I'll just go through the margins that are needed to, to achieve that extra distance and extra consistency so the first thing to establish is definitely getting that centre strike. So we've achieved the centre strike and that information has been provided by our DC quad from Foresight, so that is superb. Right, so the stats on this are a little bit mind blowing. So from the centre point you have got a 7mm radius around that before things outside that get a little bit unpredictable. So when it's got 10 degrees written on the bottom of the club head, the 10 degrees is done from the centre point of the club face. So if you happen to hit one half an inch above that centre point, that will add 2.5 degrees of loft to the driver. Also, on top of that, there will be an additional decrease of spin to 700 to 800 RPM. Now that is then the opposite if you then hit a low strike so same again if you're half an inch below you're then taking off 2.5 degrees and then you're adding spin by the same number as the upper strike and then on the left to right so across the club face so if you're more into the hill that will also increase the spin and then more in the toe will then decrease the spin so it makes a huge difference to where you strike the club face on the driver to the performance that you're achieving. So for this episode, the main goal that I want you to achieve is to find out where you're striking the ball for me. So you can use some foot spray, so spray that across the face, that's a very thin spray so it won't affect the spin on the ball, and that will give you some idea of where you're striking it, it will leave a mark on the club face. You can either use a face sticker to put that on and that will also give you a pattern or book a coaching session with a professional that's got the GC quad and that will give you that strike. So the first thing is to establish to make a huge difference to then being able to improve how the driver performs is you must find out where it's striking it on the club face. Any questions or comments please send them through, give us a good thumbs up, I hope you enjoy the series, subscribe and I'll see you soon.